And these Beemos are... I think this is like the only area in the game where they appear. Actually, I'm positive since I've been in like every other area of the game, but that's a bit weird. They're not monkey-like things, they're supposed to be like gargoyles or... Well, I'm sorry, the, the, the monkeys from the side never played this game for years. Well, I, no, I'm, what I'm saying... I'm just saying this because they're supposed to be something in particular, I forget what. That, what's interesting is when you flip the tower upside down, um, you can see that they have Triforces on the bottom. And I'll get into that later because it's sort of hard to explain. I'll say that while it's in the dungeon. But basically, there's like a big theory behind this temple being like uh, the Akana races didn't. They worship the giants instead of the goddesses of Hyrule or whatever. And um, that pissed them off or something. S or, yeah, they didn't want to worship female figures as opposed to the male giants, so they had like, like the entrance to this tower looks like a giant, and then those blocks have like, they're, they're licking the Triforce, and it's also where their crotch would be. And also there's like phallic imagery at the entrance to the tower, which I can show you as soon as I get up there. It's not obvious like some games like to do it. <coughs> Banjo-Tooie! Um, a giant penis extending from Mumbo's skull. <laughs> what? It really was? Yes. And Pterodacty Land. There was a giant penis? <laughs> what? Yeah, pretty much. I'll show it to you after I'm done with this. Anyway, um... Yep, those stuff go back to normal. And yeah, it looks like Darmani a lot more than... Well, for some reason it has his little pants. Did Darmani wear those little pants? That's... I mean, he doesn't have the hat. That's weird. I never really thought of... I guess it's just sort of like the song is magical, but it's not magical enough to know about the fashion sense of the... Well, that was close. Guys before... stuff. Anyway, another set of these... Not cheating. I don't know why I would have called it cheating, but pointless ones... If you just got up to this point and said, Oh, this is too hard, I give up now, you could go back down, but... Eh. I was afraid that wasn't going to work since when I fired it, it wasn't technically available. Anyway, I o this part sort of is confusing, I guess. I don't know, the whole area is a little bit wonky, but this is the worst of it. Yeah, you have to go up there. <laughs> Which means you have to get, like, to the very edge of this bit and not get hit by the boulders. Get me away from this boulder. Um. Oh, no, fire keys. Well, that was unusual, but I'm glad it didn't knock me off. Come on, you jerk. Come on, you jerk. Come on. There you go. Who? The Ikana? Because they pissed off the goddesses and they were trying to build, a, or supposedly trying to build a tower to reach the goddesses and kill them with the giant's mask. Because they didn't like them. Heavily, I mean like... No, it's, this is all like conjecture based on the evidence that the game points to, I guess. But anyway, that's the gist of it. At least they were kind enough to put this up here, so you never have to do that bit again. You just have to set up these three, and there's a lot of slowdown here. Anyway, yep, there four phalluses to represent the four giants. It's really not supposed to be erotic, just symbolic of ma masculinity, I think. And hooray! And then, I think this is just being a little silly, but for what it's worth, there are balls flying around everywhere here. Anyway, yeah. Just where did they build this up from? Wouldn't it have made more sense to build it in the solid ground out here. Maybe, maybe just go, I don't know. But anyway, uh, that is that. Pretty interesting area. With, I mean, it's hard to say if it was intentional or not. From how much effort was put into the plot of this game, I wouldn't be surprised if some of that stuff was intentional. And yeah, it's like sort of hard to think that adult game developers would make pillars look like that, not associate them with foul eye. 
You're disrupting me. Now again, it's not like erotic or anything. There's a lot of slowdown. It's just symbolic, and it's all very interesting. I'll probably read over the article again, and I'll link to it in one of the parts where I'm actually going through there. Yeah, I mean, I did. I religiously followed the guide my first run through, and I've been researching it a lot since doing this Let's Play, and I really like this game a lot more now that I can see all the work they put into it for all the characters and stuff. Okay, so, um, normally I would just grind rupees until I could fill that up, but just gonna check I have everything I want to have at this point. Yep, Andrew and Cafe are done. She's not done yet, I'll get to her later. And other than that, the bomber notebook's completely done, that's cool. And only missing one boss mask, have the biggest quiver, have the biggest bomb bag, have all the songs. I have ten heart pieces left, not including that one from the... or yes, including the one from the bank. I just need the great fairy sword, light arrows, and a sixth bottle, which I all know where to get and plan on getting them soon, so... Yep, the game's starting to come to a close, just have one temple left. No, you get to keep the fairy sword, it's just not as good as you would warrant it. I don't know, it's okay. I'm pretty sure it's twice as good as the gilded sword, but the gilded sword is so good as it is, it doesn't really matter. And it's a C-stick button, it's a little wonky. No, you lose the razor sword. Although you could technically lose it by putting it in a mailbox and then switching it out with a bottle and then it would give you a bottle back, but that's sort of a weird thing to say, but, um... Anyway, yep, that is that. In the next recording session, we will be heading back to, uh... Oh, so I can't remember if I showed this already. I might have, but... As I explained in a previous part, Cafe, he uses the same model's link, and that happens. He glows red when you explode. And anyway, yep, I'll see you next time, uh, in which we'll head to the Stone Tower Temple. Stay tuned. Bye.